Just a sec. Almost. <laughs> Go, Kenny. Put your hands on charge again. <laughs> oh, oh, Jimmy, yeah. fam, watch yeah. this. We were sitting down. <laughs> What's going on here? He's putting his hands on charge. Just, just wait for it. Just wait for it. <laughs> oh, please tell me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, everybody, and welcome to uh, the round table for 2019. We've got a group of guys going from uh, left to right. we got God Cannon from PSVR Underground. What's up, y'all? Happy New Year. Hey, it's David from Dave Station VR. I hope you guys are having a happy holiday. <laughs> Jimmeth, Jimmeth Jamath from uh, YouTube. <laughs> no, nice. Um, yeah, but any, anything, I'll play anything. But yeah, the games, entertainment, noise, daft stuff, me. Nice. Happy New Year, guys. Uh, this is Nat from 7 Degrees of Gaming. Beautiful. Hey, uh, Salsa from Salsa Ketchup VR. Um, YouTube site. Ah. Justin? Oh, Justin Credible VR. And uh, let's jump into it. Let's do this. So yeah, sweet. So I'm GT for Game Tech VR, that. and that's what we're here to do. We're here to talk about the games we are excited for to come out on PSVR in 2019. So if you don't mind, I would like to start with a bit of a controversial one, which is Ace Combat, um, which we just mm. mentioned a minute oh. ago. Um, <laughs> I'm really excited for that one. I have pre-ordered it. I don't know if any of you guys have or anything. Yeah, I, I haven't yet, but I do plan on getting it. Like, I know it's not as much content as people were hoping for, but I got that HOTUS sitting there waiting to yes. be used. Yeah. And mm. it was such yep. a cheap... Like, the, the steering wheels are like $200, $300. The HOTUS is like $38 on Amazon. <laughs> it's crazy. Is it? Um, so it yeah, was at a certain 40. point. It got yeah, super cheap. Yeah, there was a sale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's oh, pretty man. Cheap. Oh, God, yeah, that'll be a I'm, huge I'm one. And even if it's three missions, though. I think it'll be great. Speaking What's about that? the controls, though, because the, the HOTUS, you can get pedals for that, which I got, which work oh, yeah, with the rudders, uh, Eve, the rudders, Eve Valkyrie yeah. and stuff like that. Oh, but, wow. Um, from what I'm told, they're not going to work in Ace Combat 7. Really? Mm. What, huh. the pedals or the yeah. HOTUS? Just the, the pedals. Pe pedals. Right. Well, they're bringing out... No, they're selling their own expensive own. HOTUS to go with it. Well, they've got the, the, the same one with a print on it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's the same exact one. It just says Ace Combat, and it's like... Yeah. <laughs> What's there that? Is also it's a light the, blue. Or um, yeah. There's the Hoei one, not Hoei. Um, uh, Hori. It's maybe. Hori. Hori. Oh, yeah. Hori. Hori is Hori. having one released as well. Okay. And that's probably going to be about the two hundred uh, dollar mark, two hundred pound mark. They're pretty good with with complex. Like oh. they do good arcade sticks and stuff like that. Yeah. Like. So just to confirm, gonna are you all, are you all going to play it? Are you all going to play it? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. It's, sure. funny yeah. That you, that it's funny that mm -hmm. you said so when you say controversial, I actually don't think it's that controversial. I think everyone's a little bum that it's maybe like what, five missions, three missions? Oh, yeah, three missions. Um, it's three. Game, they said three it's missions of game. free play. So I three think people are pretty bummed mm -hmm. that yeah, that, that it's a little short on that side, but I don't think there's one person that's not excited for that experience of mm -hmm. oh, yeah, doing that, especially it. if it looks well, great. And it kind of raises the question of sometimes are you willing to pay more for that experience, even if it's a little bit shorter, but if it's like something that takes your breath away, do you yourself think that's worth it? Absolutely. Well, those prices are so, always yeah. the thing, isn't it? So, I mean, obviously, I'm not going to buy Ace Combat 7. It's not a, a franchise that interests me. Uh, everything I've heard about Ace Combat 7 in terms of the VR, it is meant to be exceptional. Mm. It's, it's going to be a great experience. Now, I've had a lot of people saying, well, I don't want to pay... Um, you know, $60, 40 pounds, 45 pounds, whatever it is, for a limited time. What I've always said to people is, well, you don't have to buy the game on the day it releases. That's you true. Wait for, yeah. Look, I, I love Borderlands too. I, I've, I've come out and said that I'm a Borderlands fanboy. Uh, and I've had a lot of people turn around to me saying, should I pay, you know, 40 pounds? Should I pay, what is it, uh, $50 in the States? The answer is, the answer yeah. is yes, it's totally worth all that money. <laughs> like, way more than <laughs> yeah, most yeah, yeah, if, 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 they, if they're like, well, That's I don't the... feel I should pay 40 pounds or $50, it's like, well, guess what? You, there's nothing to say you have to buy the game day one. You're not going to lose yeah. out. Wait yeah. until it comes down to a price that you're happy with. And it's the same thing with Ace Combat 7. I think there's a lot of people that are really excited for the content. Are they going to pay £50 mm. or $60 for this? Maybe some of them aren't. 
but if once it drops down to say thirty dollars or twenty five pounds and we've yeah. seen recently how quickly games can drop yeah, yeah. Um, if it gets down to a price that you're happy with that's when you buy it Do you know you're not going to lose out there's no multiplayer uh, in ace combat 7 for the vr side and that free mode that's going to be the big killer if you will if the yeah. free mode has a lot of things that you can do within it, yeah, yeah, then it's totally worth it. Most probably the high random price. missions or because something, you might get like you might get like eight hours con, you know, a free play that you can literally sit there for eight hours and enjoy yourself. Is Maybe this... eight hours in a VR headset might not be the wisest thing in the world, but it's possible. So is this Nando's first? The other, first the other suggestion I would have VR. is if you live anywhere that has like a used game. Thing, and like once it gets to a point where there's a physical game that you can get used yeah. like Gran Turismo I'd never bought Gran Turismo Sport because I knew the VR mode was so limited and it wasn't something that I was going to dedicate a lot of 2D time to unlock everything Right. so I just got it pre-owned mm. and then they have a 7 day return policy and I played it for a little bit and then I brought it right back because I decided <laughs> I so I was going to say so man like, like... Once, once games like Ace Combat is going to have a physical release so yeah. You can do that too. Not I'm buying Ace really Combat and then I'm going to trade it in again. It. Like, unless I love it, yeah. I'm going to buy it and I've shopped around online. I think I've got it down. I think on the store, that's the problem. I still thought, I still don't understand why digital games are so much more than a physical game. Like, that troubles me still. Do you know what I mean? You're getting less, but you're paying more. So, apart it's, from. It's a monopoly thing, I think, on that. That's why they have to do it at the uh, highest retail point, first of all. And then other companies can still make their money on the physicals. Yeah. Yeah. That's, um, GT, that's where that is. What's up, man? It, it looks like, to answer your question, it looks like Bandai, Bandai Namco made the Mario Kart VR arcade experience. Yeah, 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 oh, they, they did, did. Yeah. 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 And maybe Summer Lesson as well. Your hands are all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so this is so this is Bandai Namco. This is Bandai Namco's first PSVR outing. Is that correct? Yeah. That's exciting. Uh, summer, summer, no, summer lesson. Oh, no, no, summer no, lesson. Yeah. yeah. Waiting for who that. Who made Tekken? Who made Tekken? Oh yeah, that's true. That's uh, Namco. That's Namco. The, the Namco made Tekken. You've yeah. got summer, yeah. summer lessons. You've got um, what do you call it? The just released recently the um, anime inspired uh, flight same thing that's like Gundam. Oh, like. I saw. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. The store. And then when you go to it. VR, um, Wait, uh, Zone you of go Endless, over to the, the, the... No, that's Konami. Yeah, Zone yeah, of Endless. Zone Konami, Konami, that's Konami. Yeah. Oh, is it Konami? That's Konami. Uh, yeah. Konami. Sorry. I'm just okay. thinking, but VR-wise, you've also got the all their arcade the stuff. Mm. That's cool, Dave. Yeah. Like <laughs> they've made a lot of arcade <laughs> stuff. Bandai yeah. have made a hell of a lot of arcade stuff. Oh, man, I love well, Namco. they've got their own arcades, so... That's yeah, the, yeah, the yeah it's the Ooh, Quick, quick plug for a two game. Speaking of arcade shit, I'll I'll stop immediately. But I've been playing the shit out of this new Earth Defense Force Five, and I mm -hmm. just love oh, Earth yeah. Defense Force. I it's do like so it. EDF. Dumb. It's so fun. Yeah, the good, yeah. dialogue is the worst <laughs> thing I've ever heard, and I love it. <laughs> it's like every oh, yeah. movie it's, combined. It's so good. Anyways, yeah. I would love that in VR. Anyways, no, you're right though. They oh, love yeah. they love that, don't they? They they actually make it that way. I think because he's got that weird oh, yeah. following. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I had a quick question, guys. Go so, on. see how you're all, you're all talking about Ace Combat mm. uh, and how there's like VR missions. Mm -hmm. Is it going to be along the lines of, for example, Star Wars Battlefront, how you had the VR no, missions, no, 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 or a bit so. more content than you than that? Because be I enjoyed that. A bit more than a few hours. It'll be like an hour mission. Yeah. Yeah. Is it, isn't there a free play mission? mode too? Isn't there? Yeah, there's a free play mode. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And the flight like, model is going to be so limited. Yeah. I do too. I actually, yeah. wish, the, if it's the flight model in love is so limited. I, I, I was good to start with. I had a free options. play mode. It's cool, yeah. but like when you play it again, you're like, okay, I don't want to hear all this story stuff. I want to shoot a bunch of TIE fighters. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, that would have been cool, man, if you'd have just been able to just do if that. If they had a score attack mode, yeah. they wouldn't yeah. have to change much, and it would have been really good. See, the only reason... Go on. Go ahead. No, you too. I was going to just say, I am I am used to mission objectives in those kind of games, so... You yeah. know, it's you can kind of get sometimes when you have so much freedom, you get kind of bored and lost. When yeah, you have yeah. those missions to go after, it, it keeps it interesting, <clears throat> keeps it fresh. But that's what Ace Combat's renowned for—for for giving you the goal, the mission goal, and then 
completing that and then moving on to the next stage and stuff because I've, I've played the lot yeah the earlier yeah. versions of that game but it might oh, yeah. i like you guys are saying i've seen it i've seen the trailer today actually i've seen the trailer in the cinema for it and it looked amazing in the it cinema. does look Wait, amazing in the, in the movie theater you saw a trailer for ace combat yeah man yeah before the uh <laughs> <Prison> <laughs> <Rhapsody> <laughs> before that we get loads of go. Every time I go to the cinema, there's game. PlayStation trailers all the time. Oh man! Oh, it's the yeah. PSVR. Yeah. And I've never heard one. Yeah, there's no. Re- I don't. Was it a PSVR trailer or a, a PS4 trailer? It was. It was a Sony trailer, and then at the end, in the small, tiniest print, it had uh, missions <laughs> in PSVR. Did you go like that? Oh, yeah. Woo! Nice. On your own. And it I was makes like, more <laughs> sense. Yeah, it makes yeah, more yeah. sense with the Sony movie. <laughs> yeah. I think the thing with the missions for um, Ace Combat is where they're initially this is before the last delay came in where they said oh actually we're not doing the whole game in VR and the reason why they gave was oh well we made the game to be cinematic so we felt the VR was interrupting it and I was like what? That's That's a cop out that's a exactly it's the the opposite I would have said said exactly and that was like uh did the guys that did Wipeout, did they, did they say that wasn't going to happen at all either? Or did they kind of turn around and say, like, you know, we can make this a VR? Did that happen? Because that was I'm a good I'm pretty sure they were saying thing. that it would be the full thing from the start, from what oh, I remember. Okay, okay. I'm yeah, pretty but sure. It was a, well, remember. It was a small, like, was a small like separate thing, thing like, like PSD assets. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah they, had, they had easier, some system easier. or something that they were able to use to, to port it, and pretty quickly too, which was impressive. Yeah, and like it doesn't take a huge performance hit being in VR because it, like, it runs on a PS3. Now, did you say it was a separate yeah. team yeah. in X? Uh, yeah, in yeah the, the actual team yeah. that made the original Wipeout Omega collection. Oh, It was a it was a full man team that actually did the VR conversion. Wow. Yep. Yeah. And that still that's stands cool, to me as one of the most amazing experiences we've got still. Incredible. Oh, yeah. That's wonderful. Yeah, it's oh, wonderful. Yeah. Well, the, they, the, the dev team that actually did it, the four man team, it was actually a two man team and then they had like two extra people that they brought in. But yeah. the two man team come out and they said the reason why they were able to do so much with it is the original assets were PS3. Yeah, yeah. So that's cool. Yeah, that's right. It, there was not a, as much power that they required. I think that's the and reason that's why, why we, we didn't get Fallout 4. Too. Yeah. Skyrim, yeah. But we don't have Fallout. We Fallout. didn't get Fallout 4. It's yeah. another case as well of, uh, I've said it so many times, like there's so many last generation games that were fabulous that, you know, you know I haven't tried because I didn't have a PlayStation 3. So oh, there's man. loads of game content oh, out, yeah. out there. Give me a uh, Metal Gear Rising play, Revengeance so in VR. Oh, man. <laughs> well, that's oh, the thing, man. man. Look at and they'd be great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. look at Borderlands 2. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I mean, Twisted another Metal. example. Twisted Metal. Yeah. Zone of the Enders. <laughs> <laughs> like, Twisted Metal. Zone, Zone of the Enders, good. to me, like when you go into Zone of the Enders, it is like being in the original. Like when Konami was at his best. You guys loved that, didn't you? I loved it. But the problem is it doesn't come across well on the stream. It, it, you know what I mean? It oh, does look terrible. like yeah. a PS2 game, yeah. and there's so much well, dialogue. Well, wants to watch all the cutscenes either. Yeah, there's so much dialogue uh, that you, you actually mm. just sit there quietly, like thinking there's no point talking because. But to be in it in VR is great, and I think David agree it is a it is a great game to play in VR. Yeah, I wish I had finished it. I feel bad I didn't finish. Yeah, I mean, it's a tough through. game. It is a tough game. I nearly started it. It's still sealed in my in my collection. Did you get the uh, physical? <laughs> so, yeah. It's a beautiful box. Oh, it's the, a beautiful box. Yeah, that really cool looking physical. I so general ordered it and forgot I ordered it. So it turned up, I got this package. I was like, what the hell is this? I, I was like, oh yeah, I forgot to cancel Zone of Avengers. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I was going to cancel it because I just didn't have time to play it. I was like, oh yeah, I forgot no, it. No, no, no. I might as well keep it then. So, so yeah, general consensus of Ace Combat 7. We wish it had more content, but most of us are still pretty excited for it. Is that- oh, yeah, yeah, I absolutely. think the people that are excited yeah, for it, I think you're going to get an amazing yeah, experience. So See, that's, that's the, the, that's the, the I know consensus. Is consensus. Be when, you, when I say oh, controversial... I'm actually... Um, mm. I'm cancelling my pre-order of the physical and doing the Australian thing. Oh, good. Oh, all right, yeah. okay. All right. It's going to cost you a little more, and maybe. It, yeah. Yeah, idea. but it's, it's, it's right near my birthday. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Treat yourself, man. Exactly. <laughs> if Plus, anybody I'm, who's listening to the podcast you know. doesn't know what he's talking about, if you set up a bunch of fake accounts in other countries with the PlayStation, <laughs> which you can do easily by Google yeah, very easy. and just making up an address and stuff. You don't even need to Google. Um, you can Google it a little bit if you say one, two, three, fake before. street. <laughs> that doesn't. Always, you need like a real zip yeah, code for you me. You need to. You need to yeah, post the postcode. And also, I, if you're, I, if you're I, looking to get PSN credits, is that a real UK? 
You can get them from all over the world. <laughs> yeah, if you're looking to get good, like websites. a good rate, I've seen yeah. it's offgamers.com. Like I use that a lot. Offgamers.com is I really use, good. I uh, use CGM. S E A G M. That's the one that I use. But yeah, it's, oh, okay. I think they're all pretty comparable, like with the price. It's usually. I use, uh, Play Asia is the one I use. Play oh, Asia yeah. Is pretty good as well. Yeah. Yeah. They do some great limited right. collections of good stuff. Tips. But oh, yeah, yeah, with, yeah, um, yeah. with what I was saying about controversy, because a lot of people, when that went live about the three missions, I think is one of those things where everyone's like, oh, no, man, they're angry. They're like, oh, I'm not going to get that. But you no, know yeah. they really are going to get it. That's just, <laughs> yeah. that's just yeah. reaction yeah. stuff yeah. to either yeah. rage or get. You know, if make we some rage, kind of maybe they'll change it. You know, it's, it's, <laughs> yeah. we have no, the power. It's going to be a bit rage. It's ridiculous. About it. I think oh, it was general a, over I again. Chance to make years, a great video so. here. I'm going to be the first one yeah. to do a rage video. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> everyone's everyone's <laughs> getting it, man. A lot of people are getting it because a lot of people still play flat screens, and right. you know, oh, yeah. ha, they have that option as well to play the rest of the game and the additional yeah. game like that. So, do you I think it's brilliant? Do you think it's got the same calling as Wipeout, though? Because to me, if I'd have had Wipeout and not a VR headset, knowing that game's virtual reality would really, really, like, that would drive me to get a VR headset. Do you think Ace Combat's got that ability? To sell a headset? Mm. Mm. Don't know. Uh, yeah. Not many. I don't, not many. many. I don't no. think it has the ability it's to no sell it on its own, own but you when you add up all these it. other games in there, and then you say, oh, Ace <laughs> Combat has this as well, you kind of take that next step and do the PSVR, like, not just that game that make you want to buy it. It's all the other ones. And yeah, that's what I'm saying. So not like Beat Saber, yeah. not a pure VR game. game. I'm saying like a game that is flat screen predominantly, but it's got the VR sticker on it. Like for me, Wipeout would have been a, a hard... I, I would have thought, man, I need to play Wipeout in virtual reality. That, for me, personally. If it had been there at the start, yeah, definitely. I think that would have got a lot more people going, whoa, that, that, yeah. that would have been something. I still don't think but it was... Evil, it, wasn't, for it, it, it lost some momentum yeah uh there because you have people yeah. who aren't into vr it came to hear about it going vr at yeah all. did You're you see the uh, go, what they did that in vr did you what? see the digital foundry video the comparison video they did between the flat screen and the vr anyone see that no. yeah yeah I did. No, that, that was an that. awesome video yeah. it really proved how good the vr version yeah. is but anyway i do apologize god cannon what yeah, are you looking yeah. forward to in 2019 <laughs> oh man, there is, I mean, there's so many games, we we don't even know half of the best games that we're going to get mm -hmm. this That's year, because um, well, we didn't last year, <laughs> no, I man. think Firewall, I, I want to say Firewall was, was probably everybody's thing, Moss was my most anticipated, um, yeah. which ended up being fantastic, and then, uh, you know, Firewall was everybody else's thing, this year, I am excited for Star Child. Oh, um, all news gonna say. By I think is a Playful Corp. I believe it's called. It, yeah, I've Playful been, not, yeah. yeah, I've been uh, following Paul Bettner and Star Child game on Twitter and just trying to get any updates. The last we heard uh, was over the summertime. There was a festival, a, a, a arts festival, where they showed some more gameplay. They released a new trailer. Um, that had like a couple more cutscenes, and they had like a new picture, a new screenshot. And man, the the picture of the little of the little character that you're gonna be, that's gonna be the main protagonist or whatever, like out in the the desert with like a cool looking sun and everything. Oh, I'm gonna have to check moon. that out, man. Um, yeah, it's like similar to like yeah. Moss. Um, yeah, it's this really great screenshot that they have, and it just has me so excited. Um, but yeah, I've, that's uh, that's pretty much the one I'm most excited for. Unfortunately. They did just cancel the pre-orders, but luckily it was due to the delay, which is what I thought it was going to be because it's yeah. December 31st. Why can't they just change the date? Why, why did they have to? Well, There's because so if you pay money for something, yeah. payroll, if you pay yeah. money for something that's for supposed a to charge on a certain day, yeah, uh, like there's all kinds of issues with changing the date on it. Like yeah. they're not good at doing refunds, so it was so much easier for them. Just so can you now pre-order it again yeah. at the new date? No. There's no, no there's no new Not until they have it's a gone. new, yeah. Oh, They'd okay, have to have wow. a new, new date. But the developer but, uh, came out within, a, within an hour, didn't they, and said, hey, the game isn't cancelled, because that was the rumor yeah. something going around, that, oh, the game's cancelled. And the developer yeah. was out within an hour saying, look, the game's not cancelled. We Because of the internal systems with Sony, we, we've had to change the release date. That's activated the cancellation clause gotcha. in the uh, thing, so everybody's got their money back. The game is coming next year, or this yeah. year, 2019. So I, I agree with you completely. That demo that we got on Demo Disc 2 was absolutely unbelievable, because that, that game went from, I have zero interest in it, 
yeah. which I didn't. Mm. Played the demo, and it's like, I want to play this game, and I want the next game. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, good. it's, it's, it's a good call. It's, it looks amazing. Yeah, visually, we need a good, uh, visually uh, at some point. Yeah. It reminded me of Pandemonium. Mm. Oh. A little bit for some yeah, reason. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. Have faith for that one. Yeah, man. Yeah. It's just, uh, <laughs> if I could send my hand <laughs> over to you, I um, But, <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> but actually, um, the Paul Bettner guy actually followed me on Twitter, so I might actually, like, reach out to him and be like, hey, man, give me... Give me a little, give me a little thing. Just I won't tell anybody. Yeah, do, you know, do you know who I am? I'm only going to tell it. I'm, I'm kind like, of a big deal. Well, you could become the uh, Petrified Pumpkin <laughs> like Star Child. Yeah, there you go. It's there just you, go. me, and Twitter. No one else knows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just, um, no, nah, but I'm really stoked for that one. I'm also excited for uh, Seeking Dawn, which oh, I know yeah. is, I know a lot of people, I know it got kind of, I wouldn't say ripped apart, but it got like sixes. I would say general consensus no, was like got six apart. out of ten. <laughs> Oh, and it's a part. But that is not just don't look too good right yeah, now. Yeah, I've only got a bit yeah. into it. I only got yeah. a little bit into Seeking Dawn, so. Is it is it just not good, or you not care for it? Uh, no, I was, I was, it's, it's just the amount of our games that I've got to play as well, so. And Seeking Dawn, oh, I mean, cool, I did give it quite a it's good amount of time. I gave it a good, sort of like, four or five <laughs> hours as, as straight time. Yeah. So gotcha. it's, Visually, it's, that game looks that fantastic. Bad, but, yeah. Well, they've got Visually, a free-to-play version, didn't they? On the uh, PC, is a free-to-play version. All oh, right. If they can release that on PlayStation as a as an extended demo, if you will, mm. I think they, mm. that that would really get sales. For I do think we need more demos anyway. Play. Like we seem to get the yeah, game right. and then the demo later. It'd be nice yeah. if they like Astrobot, for example. Even if it ends up being different. You know. Even if well, it ends Sony up being must have changed. Like um, Sony must have changed this year because me and Chris, we didn't go together. We went to EGX, um, and I was told by the guys at the persistent on the persistent persistence booth um, that there was a third demo coming. It was coming on a, a Sony demo disc, demo disc three. Yeah, that's why I did the video about hey, the nice. demo yeah, disc three yeah, is on yeah. its way. That's right. Um, that's right. But they've released they've released that demo separately. So the de Sony must have changed their mind that they ain't going to bother mm. with a, a thing. And I think if you look at it, how many demos have we recently had? You've had that. Uh, Prison, is it Prison Boss? Yeah, I was game, just going to say, recently squishies. we've had a lot. Yeah, I think we've had a load of demos just come, yeah. kind of come out yeah. of the blue. Yeah. So I think Sony Which just kind of said, to. what's the point in us doing uh, an actual disc? Why don't we just... Yeah. But I still think people aren't looking I for I do them. love the idea of a demo disc, though. I yeah, do. Oh, man. Well, physical. It's been with me since the PS1. Yeah. It taps into my <laughs> nostalgia <laughs> core. Nostalgia, yeah. yeah, that's exactly yeah. what it is. Do you yeah. remember that the one you used to get with around. the PlayStation? Do you remember that demo oh, disc yeah, one? Oh, yeah, that's, that's what we're talking yeah. about. Oh, with yeah. the Manta like Ray. With the magazines. With the t the in, <laughs> Interactive demo disc volume 1, 2, 3, 4, yeah. That was so Oh, yeah. I had them all at one point. Yeah, man. So what you got What you got then, Dave? What's coming for 2019 for right, Dave so Station? GC uh, did two, and I was feeling bad about doing two, but I want to do two now, too. So. Okay, my first one is uh, Sirento, yeah. because I've always loved, like, Tenchu was one of my favorite games. And I know it's not oh, necessarily yeah. a stealth oh, game, yeah. but, like, Trigging. Shinobi and Ninja Gaiden and all that shit, oh, I love all those games. So stuff. to be the ninja himself in vr yeah yeah <laughs> i am very excited about that the and trailer also looks the amazing ability to to do some interesting like somersaults and like motions you're not used to in vr um i think that could be kind of cool because i got the legs for it like i'm not worried about <laughs> i want to yeah. do a fucking front flip and then knife a guy in the face or something like yeah it does it does play out weird on the the, the pc because i was Played so you played side. it already. So oh, how awesome. is it yeah. on PC? Should I be excited or should I be sort of? Uh, uh, no, it, when you first go into it, it's, it's like um, I was a bit sort of like I hadn't looked at it too much first of all. But when you go into it, you do suddenly sort of like go, "Whoa, okay, okay, ah, oh, okay, okay." So it it grows on you a lot more as the the system plays out and you get more okay. ability and so your abilities step up. And then you get the rest of it coming. You go, hang on a second. This game's actually bigger than I thought, isn't it? Oh, damn. That's the okay, kind of that thing you get. Good. Well, and when you like watch the trailer, there's so too, many right? different moves that happen. Yes, missions and stuff. Yep. Okay, good, mm. good. And that's Perp okay. Games, isn't it? They're the publisher of that one, I believe. <laughs> Perp is publisher. Yeah, yeah that was one of their big holiday publisher. reveals. They were like, oh, hey, that's guys, right. that's we're right. making Sirento PSVR. Yeah. Shout out um, to Perp. 
Shout out yeah, to Perp, man. Perp are amazing. They're yeah. pushing the physical. Have you guys like, gotten massively. anything in the mail lately? Because they told me they asked for my address and they were like, "We're going to send you something." Yeah, they somebody else. In the okay, world they said that to me, Dave. They actually said that, and yeah. I and I and I, then well, it just went quiet, and they just sent me a thank you for Christmas, nah. and that was it. I, buy all I got a polyarch. I got a polyarch uh, postcard that just said, "Have." Polyarch. That's what I got. Nothing nice. to my physical address. Oh, oh Polyarch's got my old address, actually. Oh, really? That's weird. Yeah. They, yeah, send you, so they actually so sent so me an email saying, call. blah, blah, blah. And I was oh, like, you don't have sketches. to do that. And they were like, it's going to be a big package. Yeah. And I was like, oh, wow. okay, thank you very well, much. So I think in the UK, they send people big packages. <laughs> like, <laughs> they call a PS4 Pro. And I was mm. like, damn. And... Uh, I don't think I've received anything physical. No, I've never got but nothing maybe, off them. So yeah, I pretended I it never happened. <laughs> I was like, uh, yeah, no, <laughs> I might have run out of money just at the last yeah. minute. <laughs> <laughs> What's That's your next game, Dave? It is going to be Trover Saves the Universe. Oh, yeah. Right? Because I oh, yeah. really like... Um, like, So That's there aren't right. many third-person platformers. We've got Astrobot. We've got uh, Moss. Fantastic. Fantastic. And those are both incredible. Some mm -hmm. of the best games we have. And Star Child is going to be one too. So uh, this is that. And it looks like in terms of the action combat kind of jumping around, looks pretty solid mechanically. But also, I love accounting. Yeah. And if that is Squad wrapped games. around a game like yeah. Moss, yeah. like, sign me the yeah. fuck up for that. Because like that's going to be great. I'm more excited well, Justin for... Rowan. Trover because of Astrobot actually. I was sort I thought it was okay yeah. at E three and then really... you watch that trailer of him jumping around. It looks like he's got a, like, a lightsaber of some sort. Mm -hmm. And um yeah. it made me a lot more excited for it now. I'm more excited for it now than I was when it was previously uh, actually like, announced. I mean, yeah, I'm I'm totally uh, on board for supporting Justin Roiland. He's a big VR guy. Like he loves, yeah, he loves yeah. it. Like, oh yeah, he I love his passion. Trevor. It's so obvious. His passion. Yeah, he's is so, so passionate. Even, yeah, exactly. even though I wasn't the craziest fan of Rick and Morty, which I'm a fan of Rick and Morty, the show, I watched every episode. The game, but yeah. I, the game is really it's more like a, it's it's a more experienced kind of thing. And I just think if you're a fan, games made that, you're gonna squash. love it. Oh, and okay, Squanch. Okay. I think Squanch is important sense. because Squanch made accounting, which accounting seems such plus. like a I love, raw yeah, distillation I love, I love of Justin Roiland. Yeah. 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 It was yeah. uh, Crows, yeah. Crows, Crows. It's a company Crows. that Squanch works with. They're like basically well, yeah, one and the same. Uh, the and they didn't have anything to do with Rick and Morty. So it's like you, yeah. you can tell that there's a difference, even though they kind of tried to copy the same, the same well, look. Gold yeah. Games is like a corporate enterprise at this point they've put out so many phone games they've put out yeah. so many fucking things oh, they're like they had the lead on rick and morty vr so yeah. and i think was it alchemy labs too which kind of sucks because they did great on Java. oh yeah oh my job simulator simulator. oh that's a, yeah i guess somebody will get to that one but uh, i didn't mean you're up but yeah they, oh, vacation um, sim will be good yeah 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 I'll, I'll, i might wait for somebody to say that but um, <laughs> you was can I gonna do say? Three <laughs> no, I was just gonna add real quick that yeah, I, I've always been a fan of 3D platformers my entire life. That's why Moss and and everything ended up being like one of my favorites, Astrobot, yeah. um, and I love uh, Justin Roiland's sense of humor too. So it's just a recipe for success. It's gonna be like I think to so. me probably like Gex or something, but you know with a different sense well, of humor. Well, except oh, for if Gex comparison. was like actually really funny. Gex. Was well, Gex really, really funny? Yeah. Did I miss Not really it? Cool. Yeah. 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 It, it, it was witty. It was fun, you know. Okay. But, yeah. Yeah. I don't know Gex, about Gex. funny. But... I can't think it was going to I think the best thing with Trover is that obviously it's a, it's a PS4 game that is PSVR compatible as yeah. well. So yeah. it will yeah. sell. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 well, yeah. Get a, there's going to be a lot of sales. It would yeah, just be interesting to see how they can track how well the VR side of it does. Because I think that will dictate whether they carry on. At the end of the day, I mean, you know, us using the games, playing the games, will make the developers want to make more games. It's as simple as that. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, absolutely. But yeah. Being, I'm curious about being there a PS4 too. Is, games works, yeah. yeah, the Thanks. the thing that I've heard is that they say different stuff to you in the game based on if it's flat screen or PS4. Or oh, PS4. Right. Right. Um, right. um, which is an interesting... I don't think any game has ever done that mm. yet. Mm. Where if you can play flat screen and VR... They comment on the fact that you're They've playing changed VR lines, versus yeah. you playing in flat screen. That's clever. Oh, that yeah. makes it special. They've lines for a couple games. That makes it I more special. Borderlands, Borderlands some, does that. Yeah, yeah, it's got some. Well, yeah, lines but there's it. not a flat screen yeah. version of Borderlands. Yeah, VR, that's so true. It's, like it's a little different. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know what you're saying, man. Talking to me. So, what was your second game, Dave? Right. More games. 
Um, no, it wasn't. Oh, uh, no, I'm good. Oh, that was it? Go for it, Jim. That was my yeah. number two. Right, Jim, so this is kind of... These ones are kind of... I'll put the card down. <laughs> right, um... Ace yeah, now this is... Ace these ones are... You're mental! Yeah, I am. So. <laughs> no, these ones... The ones we're going to pick are ones that probably... Are, people are going to vaguely know, right? But Or okay. you've heard me talk about them in the past, but my... Uh, you know, I'm a big fan of like classic games and how it looks in VR. For example, Jeff Minter, Polybius, one of my hugest oh, yeah. games that I picked the machine up for pretty yeah. much, and I did pick VR for that. People think, what? But yeah, wow. it's tough. Yeah, I didn't um, know that. Yeah. No. But, There's a lot of people who agree with that, I think. Yeah, well, here's the huh. thing. Apparently, that didn't sell too great to begin with. And after everyone well, jumped on it... And, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. just before Christmas, Sony fixed the issue, and they actually made some money yeah. off it. Yeah. Um, yeah. So and that's, he ported that's, it to PC as well, just recently. Yeah. And that's huge yeah, for them. And because of that, they're making another game called the Minotaur Arcade Volume 1. And that's oh, going to have uh, two other games with it. Uh, one called Go Up, and one for the life of me that just for, got right in my brain. But it's like, kind of like a centipede shooter. Um, which is Probably just, what need, related. just what I Something need. <laughs> but yeah, they'll have a few games, I'm assuming, on that. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, yeah. And again, you guys are talking about games I've heard bits of, but I've never really... Because I've kind of been consumed by this next game I'm going to talk about. So... <laughs> oh. <laughs> His head's ago, rising, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> no, a, a while ago... Um, a while ago, I... I scraper. signed up. Yeah, scraper. No, I signed up for a, a, a you know a newsletter for Media Molecule and and was a good boy and listened to the, all the newsletters and watched all the live streams and all this stuff. And it Dreams looks phenomenal. Um, and they dropped a the beta. Um, now I am on embargo on that, so I, all I can say is pretty much it's amazing. Um, yeah. There wasn't any VR on it yet, but when it does ship. Um, I'm going to say about February, March. I'll say that as a vague. That's not me going, yeah, it's going to ship in February, March. I'm just saying that because I can assume that because the beta is on until January 21st, I think, mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm going to say February, March for them. But it's good enough already without VR. So with VR, it's going to be nuts. I think Nat Imagine is also if you in could... the beta as well in this time. Oh, yeah. fantastic. Yeah. So do you agree with me with it? Dreams is pretty much if Willy Wonka could make a game engine. Well, I've already discussed this with 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 Game Tag. I mean, obviously, oh, okay. again, we have to be we have to be careful about what we yes. say because yeah. otherwise it's... we'll get screwed. Um, as I They're say, watching right now. Well, <laughs> not, watching not right now. Could report you and, <laughs> we could edit could this out. Report you and screw you up. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, I, I I think Dreams is going to be what they're saying it's going to be. At the end of the day. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, it it's, does... it's going to offer a range of tools. I, I'm what I'm hoping is when they the beta goes a little bit wider. I think was it yeah. the, generally they're planning to go wider. Yeah, I'm hoping that they're going to unlock the NDA that we'll get an email saying, okay, now you can start streaming it. Now you can uh, think. I don't think I will. I think there was going to be a public beta before it launches. Right. Yeah. Uh, I think because this is this is still a closed beta at the end of the day. Even if the uh, people get the invites, I think it's the fourth of January you'll get the invite. Uh, and it will mm -hmm. unlock on the 8th of January for you. Um, I think that will still be under an NDA, but I think, I, I agree with you, it might probably come out uh, first half of this year, and yeah. I think there will be a public beta. Do you but believe I, the VR probably... will be part of any of the betas? No. It won't be, no. It will be when, no. uh, obviously when it ships. When Do you think it will be when it ships, though, as well? Because when yeah, I spoke yeah, to yeah, the well, developer at EGX, said he didn't want to talk that. about it at all. Yeah, yeah. The, the the two guys uh, at the top of the tree have said, yeah, it's going to be when it ships. Um, no, I agree with you, Game of Tech, because we both played at EGX and yeah, it, they, yeah. the games. What was it? Eight games? Yeah, uh, yeah. Game? There was like, yeah, it and was they incredible. Were all different. Yeah, they were completely different. It was you, a complete yeah, mind you. blow to me. I did, I've honestly Some never stuff. imagined that you could do that with one, basically a program to make to give the ability that level of yeah. ability. To people yeah. is incredible. Like I watched the cool bit. three stuff. Um, yeah, making enemies, making characters, a setting, and everything, and mm. pretty interesting. I used to do that, like that's RPG fantastic. Maker on place. Anybody else do RPG? <laughs> yeah, they yeah, 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 yeah. wow. like, yeah. did. <laughs> so it won't. took so much work to do anything, but it, yeah. it's yeah. a fun. It's fun to have a toolbox that anybody can. Yeah, a little yeah. bit of planet was. I'd be really interested if, if 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 could with the VR side. I don't know if anybody's seen like um, the manga comic um, 
wedding rings and things done in VR. No, they did one yeah. episode. Although, I would like to see, I was thinking recently, I'd like to see some kind of, like, animated film in VR. Because the stuff that I've seen, like, hand-drawn, not, like, I've seen, you know, Alumete uh, and stuff like that. Um, Legend of but, Crow or Crow the Legend. Sometimes no, if you, if you games get the will throw in the a little bit of a comic book thing in it. If, if you get the chance on Oculus, look at Wedding Rings and things. I think that's the best version of the VR go? comic Can book. I watch it on the go? Um, you think? I don't think it is. I think it's PC, it's Steam, and uh, Oculus Store. Gotcha. Okay. Um, which, I don't know why it shouldn't be on the go. I mean, it, it, but it really does... Oh no, it's because it's, it is proper 3D positional. It's really weird. You can stick oh, your okay. head through... A window yes. of the comic. That's cool. I like that. Gotcha. Which is really that awesome. Cool. Um, and if if Dreams could have something else like that that makes something like that easy to make, I would oh, be, yeah. mine would be so blown because you know there'd be a lot of fan people out there that would convert stuff over and do some amazing stuff like I'm that. I'm wondering whether I mean, the creator music... mode will be in VR. Yeah. And whether you'd just yeah. be able to play the games in VR. Do you know what I mean? Like, you'd be creating it on a flat screen and then going into that level I... you made in VR. Yeah. You... Oh, would you I've, never... I've never been sure about what, how far they're going to go down the well with it. I know that they have said previously that one of them was laughing because during some sort of holiday period when they were off, the head bosses was making... He phoned uh, someone up and said, look, I've just finished making a, a drone and I'm flying about my living room and it's in VR. And they were loving it, talking about that side of it. So if they can go to that extent and that's them playing that um, in the play mode, that's good enough for me. But because making it <laughs> without going too far with it, it, it doesn't really bother you too much because obviously if you're used to making games or you've seen Unity and you've messed with that on a computer, you, yeah. you're doing that flat anyway. So... Being in VR, it, it's like how if you make stuff in Rec Room, it, it's nice to be in front of you, but it, it wouldn't take too much away from it if you were making it in flat. So, yeah. So, of course, if you did, like, the 3D modeling side, if you're making unique models in in 3D in there, and then doing the rest of the game mechanics and all that in the 2D, yeah. Yeah. Or that the may also be another way. Yeah, well, I mean, so cool painter, kind of, primary school painter is an example. Yeah, oh. I mean, you can make whatever you want in dreams too much with Hello. the tools I give you. I mean, I was on... Uh, Look, careful uh, what I, you say. I did, careful what I, you say. I know. I was doing, I was doing uh, the, my Sunday show that I do, uh, looking for unicorns. Uh, plug there for that one. Um, and <laughs> well, the, Let's the go full blown. Everyone over. check out Nat 7 Degrees of Gaming. <laughs> <laughs> Just roll with it, man. Every Just Sunday, roll with streaming it. live. Every Sunday, <laughs> fresh. Well, the conversations go, go all over the show. And I, I think we got into a conversation sort of like, Last Jedi sucks. It's the only Star Wars film that really, really sucks. And then somebody was going, <laughs> fuck Ewoks or something like that. And I was like, no, no, the Ewoks are fantastic. You've got to have the Ewoks. And then I just kind of turned around and said, just off the cuff, I was like, you know what? I'm going to make in dreams at some point. I'm going to do friggin' an Ewok uh, rhythm game where you have Stormtrooper helmets in front of you. You play a full game of Ewok as you play a of the Star Wars shoot. Jimmy's got his hand up. He played that. He played that. He can do that. Send me that. The thing is, you could do that. Yeah, you can. With the tools that James give you, you, yep. There's there's nothing to stop you actually doing that. You know, giving you so furry arms with a couple of things, putting stormtrooper yep. elements there, building the forest. You know, building the what forest around you, the Endor forest, and then literally putting a music thing in so you can just play on the stormtrooper's helmets. Perp you can do that. Will expect Perp will expect the finished product on their desk. Monday morning. I hope you, do, I hope you make that. that. I hope you make so, that. That's so it took me about two years, I think, with my <laughs> skills. <laughs> so, Jimmy, what's your, what's your second game, dude? If you got one. Yeah. I, well, I, again, just the Jeff Minter collection that's coming out there. Yeah, he said to you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Minotaur cool. Arcade, it yeah. looks amazing. Go on, and that after you, man. Okay, well, I'm going to go with three things. Um, so, in terms of the PlayStation... <laughs> I'm there, but the nothing left, I know. Uh, I'll be fine. Jesus, <laughs> what are you doing? We're going to have to get the, the maid in here. The maid uh, in here. In terms of a PlayStation VR game, the one game that I'm, I'm really looking forward to, uh, for the simple reason, I'm such a huge fan of the franchise anyway, is everybody's golf VR. Mm. Oh, oh, nice. I just, yeah. I just I love it. everybody's golf. Uh, awesome. I can get, I can get lost in that for hours, and the thought of getting lost in that in actual VR, although actually having to do a golfing swing, kind of puts oh, wow. me up a bit. Uh, but yeah, I everybody's want golf. I cannot wait for yeah. that. I, just because of, the, it's such a unique look to that game, 
and everybody yeah. always thinks with everybody's golf oh it's cutesy it's like no it's actually a really tough golf game it's most probably tougher than any it of is. the tiger woods pga t uh, golf <laughs> games so that's what i'm looking for there well the let game, me ask you real quick you, yeah. you said you don't like to swing that means you like to play with a dual shot what yeah, yeah, like, I just like infinite button, goal. But to be honest, I, I would be, I'd be up for you know actually doing move controllers because I, the, the yeah, problem I've always had with it. the move controllers it's is there's not enough games that utilise the, the the move controllers perfectly. So something like Beat Saber utilises the move controllers perfectly. I'd even say Super Hot utilises the move controllers. Um, even though In Death made my uh, was number ten on my top ten games, the frustration I had on within Death is I was thinking about the controls as well as playing the game because there was no yeah. analog sticks. That's and that's frustration. That was a, that's, that's one of the reasons I didn't like getting full incursion. To so be fair, so you'd also be track. thinking about it if you were using yeah. the um, the touch controllers because uh, in death, they, where you would normally think of using your grab button, they don't give you the choice of using the grab button. You have to use the trigger button. So you'd yeah. still be thinking of it because they switch buttons around and don't give you an option to change it. Oh, okay. Well, there's some, obviously there's some options on the end day, so. But like I say, I mean, obviously I'd love to get uh, new move controllers. So, Just but, curious. Because um, yeah. that was like the only reason I didn't like the infinite mini golf. And, you know, I played um, a mm -hmm. lot of different games. But yeah. uh, when you're when you're doing the charge up bar thing, I mean, you know, most of the time it's just a button anyways. Um, no, I think they're going to actually have a proper golf, uh, golf well, swing. So that's why, that's why I like it, because you yeah. can actually do it if you don't know how to swing a golf club. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's, that's also... In yeah. everybody's golf, I'm going to be terrible, because I don't... I'm reminiscing. Like yeah, it's, it's, it's back to the Wii like Sports this. again, isn't it? Really? It is. It yeah. Yeah. Is. yeah. Yeah. It needs that. I think I think we need a golf game like that. Because the other day yeah, I was playing yeah. Carnival Games, and You're I don't right. know if anyone's visited Carnival Games. Oh, mini golf is pretty good. But, but there is mini golf that. and Carnival I Games. Can't play that. That and, uh, it's in the DLC, I think. Yeah. It's, it's extra. It's on sale at the moment. It's really cheap. Yeah. I'll just buy and off. everything by you, so I think I, I, yeah. I'm just looking, really looking forward to it. Yeah, so. Uh, in terms of the second game, any Carnival Games, because the climbing wall is awesome, too. Yeah, they'll go last time. They're on sale now. I'll get them all. Yeah. Sorry, Matt, right, what were you saying about a, your second game? No, in, in terms of a, a second game, now I'm actually going to go out on a limb here because I'm going to assume the game will come out this year. Uh, it's going to be the new game from Impulse Gear. Um, yes. Farpoint Ooh, was really? an Ooh. amazing piece of... Yeah. I think it's one, still one of the best pieces for like social VR yeah. games. Um, yeah. Uh, in terms of a, an actual package as well, single player, co-op, multiplayer, even though it's one on one multiplayer, I didn't think one on one multiplayer could be fun. It is. Yeah. Um, Impulse Gear say that they're looking to go to the next level. Um, yep. uh, they're Ooh. the reason we have the aim controller. Without Impulse Gear, we wouldn't have the aim controller, and obviously that yep. then leads into Firewall Zero Hour. Yeah. Uh, right. Arizona yeah. Sunshine plays so much better with the aim controller. And stuff <laughs> like that. So just a bit. Uh, Impulse, Impulse Gear. I'm assuming, considering the, the time that we've had to wait for uh, since Farpoint, I'm assuming Impulse Gear's game will get most probably announced fairly early this That's year. That's a great show. And man. then we'll have a release uh, later, mm. this, uh, later in the year. Uh, and the third thing that I'm most looking forward to is hardware, which is the Oculus Quest. Oh, which nice. I've said for quite mm. a few years that Sony need competition. They don't have it. There's no reason for Sony to change the move controllers. Why, why do they need to? Because where are you going to go? If you go to Oculus Rift or you go to HTC Vive, you've got to have a powerful PC. I think Oculus Quest is uh, a really cool piece oh. of hardware with innovative tech in it, mm -hmm. but it also offers an experience that you can't get on PlayStation VR. And I think Sony, if Sony want to ignore it, I think they're making a mistake. They've got to keep looking at it. And I think possibly we might get a, a replacement controller. Well, it kind of... I look. I would want Sony to do is do a controller that works with PlayStation VR now, but also can be used with PlayStation VR 2, which again we know is on the way. So, so if they can utilise something that can actually do both, give us a couple of analog sticks. Has uh, anyone here tried sure the Quest? Has anyone tried the Quest at all at any event? Or no, no, the only no, place no, you could no, try it no, was at that. Oculus Connect. Oculus Connect. Connect. So yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm basically. I need to be really big to that. Yeah, so I talked <laughs> I to Frank some people who have tried it and. Um, I said to them, like, what's it like? How good is it? And they went, you do need to lower your expectations for the image quality you're going to get. Oh, That's sure. what they were. Well, mobile. from PSVR, yeah. the it's comparison would be similar. <laughs> like, yeah. It's, it's no, high-end mobile you, VR. Yeah. You say that, Justin, but, like, I've tried an Oculus, yeah? And I know South obviously lives in the Oculus, but I didn't find it that much different. 
Like it feels like you got a bit nah. of a wider viewing mm. angle, but graphically, I unless it was the game I was no, playing, which was Windlands Two. Depends on the graphics card. I didn't. Yeah, yeah no, I didn't. Very much depends on the game. Very yeah, Windlands Two for me, man. It just looked like I thought the PSVR can do this easy. No, like, I didn't. It's, it's if you go yeah. like Skyrim, oh, sure. say something like Skyrim. Skyrim on PlayStation is like um, yes, two. Skyrim on PC is like oh, everything's sharp. Everything's detailed. Oh, I've added all the mods in. Oh my god. In VR That's you can do that very... as well. So you're playing yeah. where everyone's naked the whole time and just, uh, like, yeah. Thomas the Tank yeah. Engine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you changed the you dragon to Thomas the Tank Engine. Thing. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> Macho Man Randy Savage in trouble. I haven't bro. seen that mod. I would like to do that with the spiders though because I can't stand the spiders. But I agree with you, uh, <laughs> Nat. I'm very, I'm very much looking forward more. to seeing what the quest does. Yeah, there's yeah. nothing more I would love for them to go ahead and release a second controller, move controller. The only problem yeah. I have, because you mentioned it would run into the next gen, the only part part that I kind of disagree with is, aren't they changing the tracking technology for next gen? So this is what I heard. Inside out. Yeah. It yeah, should still be. It could something. still be based on. It could still be based on light tracking, though. I mean, I thought they've already just... confirmed. Inside out uh, just means cameras but... inside the headset, so they have to still be in range inside, of okay. the, the viewing sure, angle yeah, but, of the But headset. the thing is, if if, P so. if PSVR 2 games are going to... Uh, sorry, if the PSVR 2 is going to be able to run PSVR games, which I'm assuming it's going to, those controllers are going to have to... Even if it's a small light bulb, they're still going to have to have some sort of sensor on it. Yeah. Um, just for... Absolutely, I think that's one, yeah. So, like yeah. I say... Otherwise, uh, devs would have um, to port that and fix that and it it into their game mm. if they want people to use it on both I'm headsets yeah if they use a different source hoping, of tracking at least i'm still hoping that um there was a six axis um stem packs which was a magnetic based tracking solution i'm still hoping that something like that would come along to vr because then you don't need line of sight you don't need camera distance. You don't right. have anything obscuring when you move out of view knows. of a lens. Whatever the option will be, it will be the most cost-effective and customer-friendly. There's no two ways about it. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. is yeah. going to be paramount because they're going to they're gonna, they've learned to blueprint what was successful the year oh, yeah. before. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. they they never. Oh, well, anyway, because they're not at E3 this year either, are they? Like they've already not, said that. No, so no, no E3, no. Yeah. PSX, man, I'm so pissed. We're going to have some Sony, like some PSX, only yeah. Sony stuff. I love E3. I'm gutted about that. I, am. I love it. I watch it every year, man. Mm. Every year. Yeah, it's disappointing. It's just sure. whether PlayStation 5 comes out this year or if it's revealed later this year and to come out in 2020. Yeah, I think 2020. Well, I think they started trying really to do their little campfires instead of having an actual press conference and it didn't go so well. So that was so weird. It made me oh, back man. to the oh, man. That was, that was let's have a, a weird let's have a dude but... come out, play yeah. the flute for five minutes. <laughs> 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 oh. I don't know about you you're guys, but um, God, <laughs> did you, I had to fight the negativity the next day. There was some comments coming yeah. in. Oh, yeah. Facebook oh, yeah. and we the groups were like, <laughs> yeah. PSVR is dead. I have cell yeah. phone video. Yeah. I was gonna wow. actually record my like reaction to it, and I was like, I'm not posting this because I was just <laughs> 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 drinking. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. What have yeah. you done to my PlayStation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. the thing is, that Sony had such good place uh, uh, conferences prior to that. I mean, they'd literally hit it out of yeah. the park three years in a row. Right. Oh, absolutely. Uh, completely. Yeah. And, and when yeah. they even come out and said, look, we're going to do something different, we're going to concentrate on four games, it was like, okay, yeah, I haven't got a problem with that, because the four games that you're going to show off look friggin' awesome, and I want to buy yeah. them all. But really, the, 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 the way they actually did it, it was just like, what are you doing? All you had to do was have a really good stage presence, show off the four games, and between the, the four games, show off little games kind of like what yeah, you did it was really but you, you kind of did that was it they, they had the um what was the first one like was it last of us or was it Ghost of uh, oh i think it was it was last, last of us it was the dude yeah, playing last, the banjo. Yeah. That one. Yeah. yeah so you had last of us so you had the guy playing on the banjo and then you had the game <laughs> and then you had like a 25 minute or 30 minute wait where they just mucked around on a, a <laughs> desk doing Walking nothing. The next uh, with section. a couple of, a yeah. couple of games that they showed off. returning to memory yeah. now. You, know, yeah. you, can tell yeah. Yeah. you can You can tell it was really oh. early because there was a lot of cuts. But, there was a lot of cutting on it. You know, I think uh, I think they're in a good place. They don't want to go all out. They don't need to go all out. No. And no. Maybe that's why they pulled out of it. But 
Yeah. Or, you know what? The other option is, hopefully they're doing, pulling a page out of Nintendo's book and doing like a PlayStation Direct Oh, man, Direct PlayStation thing. Direct. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe that'd be but, clever. but the problem with that, but that's what PSX was, and they're not doing PSX, so I don't know. Yeah. Unless they have some yeah. middle-of-the-year announcement kind well, of thing. Well, I think they've kind of announced... Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think they've kind of announced everything that the major studios are going to be working on. I think yeah, Horizon I think. Zero Dawn 2. Um, right. Yeah. That'd which, nice. you know, that would be cool. It, um, not, it would be nice. It's going to happen. Like, you yeah. don't have to worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, they opened... The, the, the game finished game. it with it being an open ending that there obviously could be a sequel. Yeah. Um, and, you know, they've most probably got... To, I mean... Yeah, you know, it must have been so refreshing for the developers going, Oh thank God we ain't gotta make another goddamn kill zone. Kill zone, yeah, I knew you say that. <laughs> <laughs> and and breathe. It's just like, it's just like thank Christ for that. Uh, I, I would still take a, a kill zone or resistance in VR. I can't believe we've got a kill zone in VR, dude. That'd be yeah. sick. Yeah, kill zone in the Vita. That's phenomenal, by the way. If anyone's played the Vita, mercenaries, the Vita, kill zone. Yeah, oh, it's so one. good. No. So very good. Yeah, that works pretty good. It it does, if they yeah. could pull kill zone, if they could pull kill zone two over to uh, to VR, Ooh, yeah, yeah, that, that I would mean, some seller. The multiplayer on that. I've, I've never been a huge multiplayer guy, but I spent hundreds of hours in kill zone two multiplayer. Because it was just so unique that, that you know yeah. you had all these different little modes. You were never out of the game. You might have lost the first two uh, rounds, but you know it was a best of five, and you know you could still pull it back. So, uh, so this is what I, I was going to say I when we was um, talking about Zone of Enders earlier. I think that that showed you it can be done so well. A PS2 game to mm. VR, and it still look fantastic. I was, there's yeah. so many great games in the library that need that, like. Yeah, there is. Yeah, man, I can't yeah. wait. So, Salsa, your next two games, Anyhow. please. Yeah, Salsa. Okay, well, uh, you pulled my first one that I would go for right out of the hats, but never mind about <laughs> that. Um, Fisherman's Tale. Well, you're going to get the VR oh. in a year's time. Fisherman's yeah. Tale. Hey, Fisherman's That's a great oh. show. Hey, yeah, yeah, good one. That actually good looks show. really good. It does look very yeah, good. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's got an absolutely mind-bending concept of how you're going to work. I just... I want to find out how it's mechanically going to work because you're going to be in a lighthouse <laughs> handing yourself stuff from a bigger version of you to a smaller version of you <laughs> while the smaller version of you is doing the same thing from a bigger version of you inside of the other thing that I don't even know what you're saying, man. Yeah. I'm <laughs> fucking like... It's uh, the, set uh, up. the me seeks in the, uh, I, I feel like I know less of that. Hopefully a lot better. If you're, a, if lot you're better. a big version... You <laughs> seeks, yeah. Looking... If you're a bigger version looking to the smaller version of you, you can actually see the smaller version of you. You can see the model of the even smaller version behind them. That's <laughs> creepy. And... It's kind of like it's you doing, handing stuff to you from one place to another, but it's the same place. And it's just like, how are they going to make this work? Yeah, I need to look at that too. It looks age though. It's it's got a nice art style to it as well. Yeah, it does look look brilliant. It does look beautiful. Oh, it does look on point. It, It looks so well tailored. It looks like it's one of those things that is going to bring, uh, you know, it's going to blow your mind in some how time works, how puzzles work, and and it's going to look good at the same time. It's got that nice, solid animation style. Yeah. So you're going to feel like you're in a good animation, and I like about about a lot of VR games. Nice. The second one um, that I would go for pulls on something that I think the VR does really well, and games like Moss did really well, and stuff like that. And it's got to be Ghost Giant. Ghost Giant. Um, okay, Ghost yep. Giant. I don't know much about Ghost Giant. That trailer looks yeah, really cool. good, I think. Yeah, it like looks a, sick. The weird Animal Crossing, almost in a way, like it's. Oh, kind of all right. Elements. Okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah, I think it looks and really it's good. It's got the same. It's got the same element as well as like Moss as well, where you as a presence are the bigger presence, and uh, the main okay. character yeah. is. Um, I'd a say yeah. Third person element. That's exactly. And it. Side note: Trover does the same thing. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, so that'll be really good. Just a side thing. So I mean, that's one thing I think a, VR yeah. doesn't take as much advantage of because obviously I said Moss was my game of the year for so long. I mean, yeah. Astrobot only just picked it. It wasn't like, oh, Astrobot was so much better than Moss for me. No. It, it was only that there's so, so many different gameplay elements for Astrobot compared to Moss. That's the reason why Astrobot beat yeah. Moss. 
the thing that Moss did so well is the emotional connection you had to Quill. That's it. And I said when I did the I said when I did the game and when I said it, uh, I very rarely do reviews because I don't like doing reviews. I think I'm terrible at them, so I don't do them. I did a review for for Moss, and the one thing I said with Moss is it gave me an emotional connection to a character that I have never experienced ever yeah. in a video game. You care about yeah. that mouse. You know, you I care wanted about to protect Quill. Quill as much as I can, and that's the one yeah. thing I think could possibly be the yeah. next evolutionary step for VR if they can get our empathy and our emotions in, because you, you feel so much more for characters, because they look like they're actually in front of you. So going back to what Sals was talking about, it does look like they're going for that with Ghost Giant. That yeah. looks like yeah. Yeah. It's, the direction, it's, it's exactly is what you're saying. The whole ad addition of storytelling, it's a new vein of storytelling, because you had, okay, you have original things being talked of, then you have books with printing presses, then you have films... Yeah, you know, and then sound coming into it, That's then you've just, got video yeah. games when you interact yeah. with it, and now you've got VR, where it becomes a much more real experience, and you get that that connection. So having stories, I think good stories and storylines and connection to that storyline and characters really is the next step for VR. I think that's what yeah, VR yeah. does really well. Nice, I agree. absolutely. Yeah. That's, that's why that. Voltron Chronicles is so good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I haven't tried it. I need to try it. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are you up to, then, Justin? What we got? Um, first big one that I'm excited for it comes out next week. Megalith. That's oh, the good show. Oh yeah, nineteen. Mm -hmm. He's for multiplayer sake. I think a big winner. Am I lagging? Can you, you are like yeah, 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 you're choppy. You're real choppy. Yeah, I know. I just wait. Every all of a sudden, everyone like got laggy. It was really weird. Yeah, but uh, Megalith for sure. I'm excited to see the growth of Megalith it becomes. Um, the big one probably scraper for me. Scraper. Yeah. Scraper. Yeah. Scraper. Yeah. Cyberpunk. Yeah, scraper that looks will be kind of, kind of like a Deus Ex kind of thing going on. Yeah, totally. And I love That's that series. Good. And they're yeah. adding aim support, so I'm like. Awesome. No, I'm like, okay. I'm, I can't wait. And I'll that'll be another book. one. I'm but excited to see good. what it becomes because they've got a big plan in their, in their works. Yeah, so it. it seems, like, it seems like it's got a lot of lore to it, too. I mean, There's a book, isn't yeah, They wrote a whole book. It, they wrote a whole book. The book's book amazing. Yeah, the book, they must yeah. be telling me about that. Book's yeah, crazy. it sounds really cool. Yeah, the yeah, way yeah. that they do that. They're meshing a bunch of different mediums. Yeah, totally. Yeah, like Star Wars. I think that's why they call it First Strike, isn't it? So it is meant to be the first part of a multiple series. Yeah, big thing. Yeah. Interesting. I'm very excited for that. Yeah, man. It yeah, sounds other like amazing. Than, uh, everybody's yeah. golf, multiplayer. You know, anything multiplayer coming out, I'm really excited for as well. I think we need. I've got one question for you guys, actually. Yeah. Sega. <laughs> Do you think Sega's going to throw their hat in a bit more? I because hope. Well, we've well, got so, Space, uh, Chan uh, Space Channel Five. Space Channel Five is Channel. supposed to come yeah. out next year, yeah. and I've heard mixed stuff on people who've actually played it. But I want more stuff like that in VR. I want how they're yeah. playing. House yeah, everyone wants House of the Dead, yeah. Ooh, if I could sick. be playing even just Crazy Taxi in VR... Oh, I'd, yeah. I'd easily drive a Crazy Taxi. <laughs> We've got Vroom and Kaboom, Dave. What's like, wrong with uh... you? We've got Vroom and Kaboom. Imagine. Star Bear Taxi is the closest <laughs> to Crazy Taxi. And it's actually and it's... pretty good. Star Bear Taxi yeah. is pretty good. Yeah. Just imagine if I could... It's only $5, guys. Respectfully. Just imagine if I could pick one of these up and drive his television. I like... <laughs> uh, with all due respect, I liked Armageddon Riders more than Starbird Taxi. I, 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 you are a joke. Crazy person. Person. Oh, no, you are a joke. Delete your channel. Gentlemen, right gentlemen. Uh, yeah. Can we just stop there for a minute? Please, play please, play. please, please, please. Ascension. Um, God Cannon's yes. got something very strange to say. God Cannon, please repeat that sentence. <laughs> Apocalypse I like is better than Starbird Taxi. Yeah. I want to hear him say it, Dave. Get the ball ready. I, I'd say, <laughs> say it I again. It more. I say it. it more. I, I liked it more. What? I like. I like the uh, Apocalypse Rider more than Starbird. Oh, oh, I, wow. could, I played. I played uh, Apocalypse Rider for an hour more than I could handle Starbird Taxi. Did you play the Starbird Crazy Taxi? The really fun one where you're like just moving around and dodging stuff. Like, can I take your chair away from you? There was can like, I pull your head on mode? On that? I must have. I must have missed chair. that fun mode. <laughs> When I was the challenge, it's called challenge mode, I think. Oh, man. That's that. insane. 
Oh, I, just, man. I got too much, yeah. too many other things. So the last game I'd like to bring up, for maybe to close, I'm not sure, but I'd like to talk about Blood and Truth um, because mm-hmm. oh, yeah, okay. yeah. that was one of those games no, that I think... really not. Eh? What's the story? You can't really not talk about it. No, man. Yeah. Um, I, I've played well, it. Coming. I know I know Nat has played it. And, uh, yeah, and you I'll... guys, what did you think, though? I remember you saying that it wasn't <laughs> oh, quite... Say it was it, that great. It, the next it level. feels old. No, it feels old. Okay. Um, okay. Just okay. Upset. It did feel old, yeah. Yeah, because all of London Studios is working on it right now. It's really weird. They have like their whole team, basically. So you'd think they'd have a mechanic. People will buy there. it, just like people bought Bravo Team. But Sure, yeah. I actually think, though, think like, a lot of people have said to me... I had to aim to back it up. They think so. Blood and Truth oh, well. is basically the London Heist 2. That's what they're and after. And what well, the thing is that you think London Heist, you don't move at all. It's an amazing experience. Mm. You just sit there and everything happens. So, and I think in the time period we've had, things have moved on so quickly in VR, yeah. Spirit and PSVR, yeah. that when, I know Nat played it as well, when you play Blood and Truth, it, feel like, it feels old. It's weird. The graphics weren't particularly yeah. great, but on the social screen, they look pretty good. And the click to move thing, that's not a bad thing, because they even involved yeah. the fact that you could shoot the guns while you're moving from point to point. So I thought, well, well that's, that's fair enough. Nice. That's pretty yeah. good. But I can't explain but it. that's also basic. It There's something be old about it, and I'm sure Nat will agree. There's just something that you think, this isn't what I expected. But Well, the, the, mm. the, the issue is the movement. Now, it's nowhere near as bad as Bravo Team, and it works very similar to Bravo Team that you move from point to point. The, Obviously, the big issue with Bravo Team is it t- puts you into a, a third-person view, so you move and you can't do anything while you're moving. The one thing I will say with Blood and Truth is you stay in first person and you can still do things as you're moving. So as you're kind of moving from the point, you can still shoot your gun and stuff like that. Yeah. The issue that I suddenly had is it becomes very... Because you've got so much action going on around you, there's, a, there's certain bits where you're like, I want to go back to the previous point. You can't do it. You can only move once you're actually at the point, and I looked behind me to see if I could move back, and you yeah. can't move back at all, and you so can't. And I was even saying to the guy on the, the thing, "Is there a button I can press to move back to the previous point?" And he said, "No." I just wanted to get there. Is, it feels like a rail shooter, and it shouldn't. Yeah. That's the yeah. problem. Right. You wouldn't associate Blood and Truth with a rail on the rail shooter, but it feels that way. I, I can see what they're trying to do because that's what I say. We want to go with an action game route. To be honest, I, I think uh, I think Chris is right. If they'd have gone with London Heist 2, for it to be a much more interactive uh, experience better. with occasional uh, action sequences, I think I'd be more excited about it. I mean, I was fairly excited about it anyway. Um, looking at it, but when I was sort of saying, "Oh, we're going to use the moves," I was concerned there because it's like well, i'm not sure how the movement's going to work or anything like you're going the gunplay i don't think is going to be an issue because the moves obviously work well for gunplay um but yeah getting hands on it it just felt like it's a game that should have come out at launch if it came out at launch yeah. it'd be going, oh, it's a really good game it's a fun game. oh man it'd be because brilliant because it's now coming because it's now coming possibly two and a half years after the case yeah. No, it feels like a two-year-old game and and the other yeah, problem is is that if you if anyone's played killing floor 2 that is a fantastic use of the moves. Um, I, I hope everyone would agree. I think incursion or two incursion. incursion? Sorry, yeah, killing floor a incursion. Yeah. yeah, VR man. It just I thought that I was brilliant. That. Yeah, it's fun co-op. That was good. It's great co-op game. Having all the little limbs and jiggling them around and smacking things. With them. <laughs> I think he's really yeah, like really ahead of himself. I really do. I think that game yeah, is really ahead of itself. Yeah, it was. Places. It was. It, Graphically, yeah, everybody fantastic. thought it was going to have teleport and it had full locomotion right off the bat. Yep. Yeah, man, you can and, like put uh, weapons on your back. You can reload shotguns. AI, it works like, so well. Guns, and, yeah. Like you put yeah, that on now. Uh, killing floor. That's that's my opinion, though. I don't know if anyone feels the what, same. What'd you say? This is Arizona Sunshine, and then this is. Oh, killing. okay. You know, yeah, it's like I just the that. next level. It's the next. I mean, like, I don't know why it's more polished than Arizona Sunshine, honestly. Because but. it's dumb and fun. <laughs> it's 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 yeah, like. Think, oh man. It's, it's not. Nice. It's totally time. not that bad. It, look, it's a good time when it's co-op. I'm it's not, not saying that good yes. either, though. It's not that good either. No, but the what made it work for me is like the bugs were so hilarious that it actually made our time. <laughs> yeah. to okay, you, like, you hear yourself <laughs> talking there, right? Yeah, he obviously not, doesn't because game. of what he said earlier. It's not a good no. game. No, yeah, yeah, but it was it was doing it was doing something no one else was doing at the time. 
on a on a big scale yeah. is giving people that walking oh, dead zombie zombies, kill. Else yeah, but yeah. <laughs> it was yeah. one of the <laughs> first. Everybody was shooting zombies. zombies. It came the before. VR, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, even in VR, everybody was still shooting zombies. <laughs> <laughs> no, but do you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, everyone was hyped for Arizona. <laughs> everyone was hyped for Arizona. As, I, as far as I remember, yeah. that game was really hyped. Like, everyone was excited for it. And I think he'd done really well on PC, I think, didn't it? PC VR? I think he's on the top. Uh, it's still one of the top. Um, I, it's not one that I played on PC. I, I got I, on play, PlayStation before I got the PC side, so. Right. I haven't played on PC myself. Cause I There's like, a lot of people that like that yeah. game. I know, well, I think there a is, lot of people are going to really like Contagion when that comes out. That looks good. Cool. Yeah, so. yeah, it's another one, one that's got those reviews. Well, we'll see. Yeah, well, Contagion's... they're saying that there is a demo for, there will be a demo for Contagion, so if that's they can nail the demo. Actually. Yeah. Some of the games well, last I heard, he PC. said he wasn't going to make his deadlines, and he'd be making the demo like, <laughs> like February 2019 or something. So, we'll, Thanks, we'll see. <laughs> We got a couple other games coming Steam, out. Though. We've got like what the Zero Caliber, Zero Killed. Yep, both yes. games. Yep. Zero uh, Caliber is supposed to be pretty great. good. Yeah. yeah. Um, which one's yeah. by Sin uh, Studios? Which one is that? That's no, Warzone. No. The Warzone. one that we should not purchase and not get hyped about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Unless they've done something incredible in their studio I agree, to make I agree it with entirely the different. Mm, well, I don't you know. know. Yeah, the game's not going to be on a PlayStation. I don't think it's so. not be if it comes good. out. Yeah, I agree. I've seen be some of the footage. If, well, if nobody even knows what the game of the year is yet, like if it hasn't even been announced yet, I wouldn't hmm. be surprised. Well, because we got what Tetris and Astro about it near the end of the year, Tetris and we fact. had no oh, idea either wow. of them were coming. And I so, like, Tetris. what else is there? What's our what big surprise? I think Impulse Gear. Yeah, Borderlands. Borderlands, yeah. Borderlands yeah. too. That Borderlands was like, came out of nowhere. Was that beginning of November or something crazy? Astro was announced at E3, like you said. Yeah, um, it was like, came out of nowhere. D-Day coming. I like, I like yeah. Strange and Strange oh, Game Studios. Be fun. Um, good yeah, it's just going to be a fun it's, game. It's me, a good, It'll be fun. Yeah, he's a good dude. Hard worker. Well, that bit, that bit out this month. Oh, yeah, that will be good. That will be good. That bit was insane. Awesome. That, like, yeah, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was so much, It's just like, a good time, you know? Yeah, it was good fun. Three hours. It was good fun. So the other the other trailer that caught my eye was Falcon Age. I don't know if anyone saw that. Oh, yes. yeah. oh okay. man, that I would forgot. be my yeah. most hyped That's game. Gonna awesome. man, That's going to be for so sure. good. Yeah, that looks really good. And it's good. Yeah. that game and VR game, so it's um, got that temptation yeah. where you can get people to like, you know, I oh, think... it's in VR too, I'll go buy that, you know? So yeah. Yeah. the same guy who success. made... Wait, well, it is somebody that made Ubisoft. something else. <laughs> Dave, your face does not go with what you're saying. He looks like you're having a poo. I don't know. I'm trying to oh. think of who it is. It's a developer who's worked on something else that I really liked, and it might have been... Um, I, don't uh, know I can't remember. Things. I'm going to look it up. You guys keep they, talking. They have. Yeah. They they mentioned it on the uh, the Without Parole thing. Oh, yeah. I, I just forgot who it was. I remember yeah, the guy's was. name. I'm just going to look it up. You guys continue. So the next one I'm looking um, forward to as well is uh, Windlands 2. I'm still looking forward to that to come to oh, PlayStation. Yeah. That's yeah. my other like top That's five fun, most really hyped game. games. Fun. I can't wait to play Windlands 2 with the buddies and you're shooting That's around your bow and you're flying around the sky. Yeah. Like, it is really awesome. good fun. Yeah, when I played the thing at EGX good. earlier in the year, it honestly felt like you was like um, Link from The Legend of Zelda where you're just, I was in yeah. mid-air awesome. shooting a bow and there was four other people all swinging around taking down this metal... Like boss, it Sounds was nuts. absolutely yeah, brilliant. Yeah, the first, the, the spider one. Oh, and I was sliding underneath it as well, like getting momentum and sliding yeah. underneath. And I was thinking, this game That's is fabulous. Cool. Oh, it's fabulous, Jim. If honestly, oh, I, I, I've been so hyped yeah, for that game ever good. since. So yeah, man, I'm well excited about that. The the other one that's gonna, like you're saying. Oh, sorry, I keep on muting myself where I'm sitting. <laughs> Me too. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the wizards. Yeah, coming as well as yeah. yeah. very excited yeah. for that. Yeah. I believe it's you've already got really that. good fun doing that. Yeah. I've already got yeah, that. Yeah, um, that's where you're like stream... making spells and stuff, right? With like hmm. you, you hand things. Yeah, you just you, got the hand thing down. You do sort of like hand <laughs> things where you sort of like go like this, or you'll go like that, and you'll be like, um, you'll go like that. Yeah, um, yeah, I saw, I saw exactly what you meant. You went like that. <laughs> Like that, and like that. Yeah, you go like that. So cool. Yeah, like that. <laughs> and then, <laughs> but it rules it. Say it rules it in the air. There's Redemption's Guild. Oh. You are Dave? I've yes. done my I've done my Googling. I'm back. Yeah, the same back. guy, the guy who made Falcon Age, is the guy who made not only Wayward Sky, but also <laughs> Dino Frontier. 
Oh, oh yeah, that was yeah. both. I okay. really enjoyed both. Dana from they were small yeah. scale yeah. games. That was good. Yeah. Um, like he's got a good record so it, far because both hey, of those. So. Not he's too bad. taking it to that next Pretty level, good. which is important. Yeah. and it means he's got the experience and he's practiced, and now he's ready to do that big. Everything he's starting to look forward exactly. to for sure. Yeah. Yeah, super. Um, well, I was going to go back on that one. I, I did actually stream. I keep on doing this. I did actually want to do a stream of the Wizards in Mixed Reality because um, it, it wasn't working mm. the first time I did it. <clears throat> so hopefully this week I might do a stream in Mixed Reality of the Wizards. That'd be fun. Oh, good for you. Because that'd be cool. See you. That yeah. really fun. <laughs> Dave's no, no, all right. Anyway, so yeah, well, that, <laughs> I think he's just got off his headset again. So is everyone happy well. then? Like, are we going to call it quits then? Call it the end of the yeah. show. It, it, yeah, yeah, seems good to yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Like midnight. I think we covered everything. Isn't it? It's would be nice I, to I, kind I, of reflect I, on 2018 yeah. a little bit. I mean, I agree with God, Ken, and I think the best stuff for PlayStation VR is stuff that we don't know about yet. Yeah. I think the stuff that we know about, there's there's stuff to be excited for, there's stuff to look forward to. Yeah. But, yeah, I think... Um, I don't think the first half of this year is going to be as bad as the first of, half of last year. First <sighs> half of last year was... Uh, it was um, dry. First, first part of last year well, was... Well, yeah. Uh, yeah. Right. Vector and Moss, which were amazing, and then it was just like... Well, all yeah. the way up until Wipeout and... I like yeah, but the thing is, with last year, there like wasn't really straight. any smaller. There wasn't really any smaller games that kind of thought like, oh well, this will get me through to the next bigger game. There was nothing really like that. No, Whereas it was like that stretch. this year, there's yeah. been lots of little games where you sort of say, okay, sure. I I really enjoyed that game. You know, it only cost me ten dollars or fifteen, uh, you know, fifty pound, whatever. Yeah. But I enjoyed myself with it. And oh look, you know, if I wait a month, I've got Astro Bot, or I wait a month, I've got Firewall. Yeah. And we never had that at the beginning of this year. If you look at the stuff that you got. Um, like I say, on and duty D-Day, if Reggie's right and he can get the QA through, we've got that in January. Uh, a Fisherman's Tales at the end of January. Yeah. So, you know, we got a, we got a couple of games and in January. You got, Meg, you got Megalith coming in January. So, yeah, yeah. you know, I you've really kind like of Megalith. got every couple of weeks, you've it's got, good. you've mm -hmm. got, you know, whether it's a smaller game or whether it's a bigger game, you've got games coming through. Um let say we're just waiting for the you know some announcements of uh, other games. Uh, Golem, I'm still interested. Yeah, I'm still it, interested. It might in Golem. it might be a disaster. I think one of the reasons why it's taken so long is they most probably ha have looked at it and said, you know what, our control method sucks. You know, it's or there's not, not enough fun. content. Possibly no, I think the co I think the contents. Uh, I think they've said the contents. There, I think it's the control <clears throat> method. I think I think a lot of developers looked at. Um, Bravo team and because that was the big thing where it was just like the the, the control scheme on Bravo team is the worst, yeah. it, it doesn't work, it's horrible, especially considering you're using an aim controller as well plus the hype uh, and I think a lot of developers are now looking at it and it's like well actually we well, don't want to get our, our game you know, Bravo team is never going to get a good word of mouth, ever no matter what they do to it anymore. I like it. There's a lot they can do it. I think developers are worried that if they if they bring out a game that just looks old and doesn't feel right, they're just gonna get you know, like Gollum could be absolutely slated. You know, it feels like a game that should have come out, you know, like what we're saying with Blood and Truth. Should have come mm. out two years ago. Come yeah, out two years ago, yeah. it's fine. Coming out now, sorry you're too old. I don't want to play your game. I want to play you know, what you, impulse gear you get from yeah. how movement works and the idea and concept of what VR does movement wise and the whole comfort issues and everything else that surrounds it. It's moved on past a lot of points that yeah, was yeah. there down as rules at the beginning where they've set up these crazy amounts of rules and then you have a couple of people like Winlands who broke all the rules right at the beginning. They got a bit punished there. Oh, man, yeah. People coming through and going, Windlands, Windlands 2. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they hit it. Windlands really was like, I nearly fell flat on my face playing that game for the first time. I was standing <laughs> playing it, and I nearly, I actually stopped myself falling. It was incredible. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. a great game. Okay, yeah. I'm actually also excited for Kill X. I know, I don't know if it's supposed to end up being any good. But, well, um, I played the Chinese so demo. put money into it. So that's that's a Chinese I'm, I'm demo. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna yeah, get, uh, probably do that demo. really soon too. Yeah. I, I hope you're right about impulse gear. That's for damn sure. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that would be that was crazy. Well, they've, they've sent out a tweet oh. saying that 20. They've got something coming 2019. You know, nice. Get excited for 2019. Yeah, so they've, 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 they've definitely got something coming. Do you want Farpoint 2 or do you want something else? 
Four point two. I want whatever impulse gear want to make. Yeah, yeah. I, well, I don't that's that's he's being post gears bitch. <laughs> it's like, I'll no, be what, what it is, is <laughs> I, I, I want a developer who's passionate about the project that they're making because if they're yeah. passionate about no, the project they make, it's going to be a good. good project. Yeah. If they're forced to make 4.2 and they're not passionate about it, 4.2 will suck. Yeah. It's Ooh, as simple yeah, as that. Yeah, yeah. You can tell, look, the, the easiest one I can give is Polyarc. You can tell that Moss is a labour of love. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. How sure. long that game is, you can tell that they bought bought their heart and soul into that game. Yeah. And, and, I mean, and it's, it's an amazing game people as well. Yeah. They're real experience. And then team. even even uh, I mean again, you know, I could have really thought I said, well, you know, the the Japanese team behind Astrobot have a game, an mm -hmm. unannounced game coming this year. We don't know what it is. Yeah, they could have. But Astrobot again, too. you know, I'm I'm looking forward. If they can do I hope it's something robot, different. Look, yeah, like I say, yeah, I, it no, doesn't kill me. Mean, if they make 5.2, I'll be great, I'll be grateful for part of point two because I enjoyed the hell out of 5.1. If they, if it's like, hey, we have this really cool idea, we're going to do that. Now, sometimes that can fall flat in its face, but again, you look at Guerrilla Games. I'm sorry, I hated Killzone Shadowfall. I enjoyed Killzone Two. I loved that Killzone Three. Oh, yeah, I, I enjoyed that. It wasn't as good as Killzone thing. Killzone Shadowfall, I thought was terrible. Man. The only good thing was that it wasn't grey. It was just technically like, it looks it looked stuff. very good. But yeah, it looks yeah, good, but it the actual good, but everything it was things. It wasn't fun. But then at all. it's like, hey, we've we've got an idea for you know uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. So yeah, I yeah. Them. And we got an amazing game. Hell, even if you look at Sony Santa Monica, Corey Barlog, and that studio went through hell, and we got the game of the year, God of War. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. That, that game was, I was not expecting that game to be at the level that it was. Oh, that game amazing. is on the level of Uncharted and Last of Us and all that. Again, it's just a very unique it's game. game. And it's, it's, it's definitely it's, the best God of War game by yeah, story is a key. Story is a key to a lot of things, and I think that's what a yeah. lot of developers are realizing. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So yeah. As long as the developer wants to make it, like I say, you know, look, most of you have you spoken to Reggie Strange, I'm sure. <laughs> Reggie's very passionate about that Honor and Duty D Day, and that comes through. He's not gonna. He's not looking to rip people off. He's looking to provide a fun experience, <laughs> multiplayer experience. And I played that, and I enjoyed the hell out of myself. And I, like I say, I'm not a multiplayer yeah. guy. And then yeah. Yeah, I've even had Reggie turn around to me saying, well, you know, what will keep you playing? Well, okay, well, new content to keep you playing. If you put out a new map every two weeks or every month, <laughs> I jump back in to try out the new map. Yeah. yeah. Say, that's my issue with Firewall Zero out at the moment is, all right, yeah, I know it's got a new map. <laughs> I need a new mode. <laughs> I need yeah, a new for mode sure. for Firewall Zero. It's like, just give me something. Give me, give me something different. It's, you know, you, your game is brilliant. But I haven't jumped into it in well over a month. You give me a new mode, I'll jump back. Oh no, you got it. it oh, the multiplayer in Firewall is fantastic. It is. I'm not going to talk you, about when, Firewall. When you, when you, when, when you <laughs> want... I've, I've got to go. I have got to go. Yeah, no, so, no worries, man. Have a good night, awesome. man. Take care. Well, you want yeah, a, another yeah, well. mode to just mix things up a little bit? Yeah, I'd like. Um, I'd like capture the flag, anyway, and I'd like free for all. If I was, right, here's, here's one, right, you got to remember, right, oh, no, so Jimmy. when everyone's playing it, everyone's playing it, and, it's, oh, Jimmy, yeah, just jump in, we can get in, oh, well, we'll get in with Dave. Whose impression right, okay, was that? Fantastic. Is that me? You. Anyway. <laughs> um, so then, um, he gets me in, and then it goes, and it comes up saying, disconnected from the, whatever it is, server, and I'm like, oh, oh great, cool. Having... I made that a couple of times, no, did it every time I tried to log in, it did that. And then uh, finally, they fixed I got, that, a lot of that. They fixed I got in with yeah, Dave. Jimmy, they fixed it. I got in with Dave, <laughs> <laughs> and then we had a good game. And I did enjoy it, but like Kelsey, <laughs> like me as well. Since then, you I'm not huge on shooters. Then? I'm not huge on that type of shooter. I mean, I'm not either, man. I'm not either, but man, dude, I love that game. Far worse. It's fans. good. It does feel st uh, 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 Astrobot. Ready for a new level or new game mode, at least. You know something. Yeah. And the new think... map. The, they give you one new map. We're used to the Call of Duty method where they give us four new maps at a time, so now we only have one to deal with, and it's randomly selected through all the other maps that you've been map playing. That new map is so good. Though. Yeah, it makes man. it hard. Although the map is totally worth the wait, it just yeah. makes it hard to... I heard you guys talk about it. I heard someone that, talk about uh, the facility for GoldenEye, and it's quite... Yeah, well, that's yeah, why, yeah, 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 yeah. I think yeah. everyone, everyone must say that. Say every time. That had me twitching, I have to admit, it did have me twitching. <laughs> I mean, the but, mode that I'd like to see them do is like a PvE mode. 
I mean, there's kind of that in there anyway, like the the the, tra uh, the training modes and stuff. Yeah. But I think they, if they did a PVE mode that you have to get in somewhere and then you have to get out somewhere. That'd be so cool. You have to get in to get get something, and you know, you fight your way in, and then you have to fight your way out as a team. Like, but I, yeah, I, that'd be I, cool. I always, but I always thought I said, what could really mix it up? Because you've seen that mode over and over again. I always said what would be really cool is have what they call, I'd call the mode betrayal. Literally, you fight your way in, and as you, if you manage to get your your your, your thing to get out with, as you get the thing to fight your way out one of your team and you won't know who it is oh, will get good. a message come up saying if you betray your team you will get this bonus oh that's good <laughs> I like that. but there's got okay. to be an incentive okay. to do it all together as well there's I like yeah that. i mean the incentive to get it over is that you know you would get this certain score and you get uh, like you get extra xp yeah it's going to be you but, win or the whole or everyone sort of wins but not yeah, as much but if you but if you decide to betray your team then obviously you become hostile, but you have to kill your the the entire or entirety <laughs> of your team. You, 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 literally, you gotta hunt them out. So what oh, I would most probably say is, if you do decide to betray them, the PVE, the, so the, the 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 PC players would disappear. It would then just be you against your team, if you will. Now, I just think like that'd be a really interesting mode. You should just that make sounds that like game. the the high like game that was in the PS3. I have good ideas, I just can't utilize them. Like but I just that made that, that made me think of Payday. Like that could be in Payday, payday three, that's you know. It, that's it, man. Like, payday, that could yeah. Totally that, that, was, that, that was Payday was yeah. good. Like that was that was a good game. <laughs> no. So yeah. excellent, yeah. So thank you ever so much for turning up to the round table version 2.0. Thank you, God Cannon. Thank you, Dave Stacey VR, Jimmy from Jimmy Jamif, Nat from Seven, no Seven Dog, Nat from Seven Degrees of Gaming, <laughs> and Justin from Just Incredible Man. Thank you. Ever well, so that's brilliant, well. gentlemen. What I'm going to do? Thank okay. you ever so much. Turn up. I'm going to go over to the board to look at our sign out uh, board. Let's quickly have a oh. quick look at this. Oh, is, is this the uh, thing about Paul? This is, uh, the, and this is how we finish he the show. He couldn't make it today. He <laughs> couldn't make it today. <laughs> but, uh, you know, oh, okay. there's not a phone number here, but you can find so his phone number. It's pretty easy. It's on back page. It's on Craigslist. Cool. It's, uh, it's available. Oh.